G-Plan and my journey is, um, the easiest way to explain G-Plan and my journey is, it's my childhood. So everybody around me had G-Plan furniture. It was like the pinnacle. It was almost as if you've made it if you had G-Plan furniture, especially in the 70s and the 80s. So for me, G-Plan is my childhood. It's like everything I know. I think this collaboration between myself and G-Plan is, I know it's gonna sound corny and very cheesy, but like a match made in heaven. Because at the end of the day, it's like I grew up with G-Plan. I love G-Plan's furniture. So the, the pairing is just perfect. I love hidden secrets. So on every piece, there's a bit where you've just got a lovely hint of me. So whether it's the badge or whether it's a pop of color, um, we worked together on the design to just make sure that they was there with the classic designs, but also I was there with that quirkiness, just to allow people to enjoy the furniture or have a talk about it. So coming up with the names was really, really easy. It's like G-Plan has been in my life since I was a child. So every journey I've taken on that kind of growing up, I should say, I haven't grown up quite yet. Um, but basically every kind of area I went to, that's why we named them after the areas that I grew up. Because if G-Plan has been with me through my childhood, it's always been with me and it's still with me today. So naming every piece after where I've grown up or where I had fun, come on, it's a no-brainer. All of the pieces stand out for me, but the Ridley is probably the one that is the, the main focal point because that's where every Saturday we used to go down to the market, me and mum and my brother, and I used to do shopping, and there was just so many memories I have of Ridley Road, even when I became an adult. And it's an important piece because it celebrates the community, so that's why we've got it quite large, and you can sit down there with your family and what have you. But the, to me, naming that one the Ridley, yeah, it just had to be done. It's special. So on the Wrigley, we've got a hidden bit of colour. We've got a badge, obviously. And then round the sides of it, so when the family is sitting down there, you can actually see this fabric around the side that just gives it that kind of like, oh, that's nice. With Morley, it's all about family. So I grew up in a council estate in Morley House. Um, and it was on Kaysenoff Road, but the whole, there must have been about 500 people living in it. And I'm not saying with the Morley, you're gonna get 500 people sitting on there. What I'm saying is that it created this kind of togetherness, and that's what the morning is all about. It's got some hidden features on there. We've got a USB, obviously you've got the recline for some old timers like myself. Um, and then you've got a storage unit, because one of the things I find on sofas is that there's nowhere to store something, and if you do store it, it's normally on the floor, you get up and you're gonna kick it over. But what we've done is made sure that you've got it tucked away. So you can either store your books, your magazines, your remote control, and my cup of tea will be stored in there so no one kicks it over. That always happens. What I love about the album, and it's gonna sound really weird what I'm about to say, but I love the scooped arm because it reminds me of a chip. And on Albion Road, when I was growing up, there was a chip shop that I used to go to, and they always had like chips that wasn't straight. I don't know how they did it, but it was really, really weird. So for me, having that design in there is absolutely cool, because it does remind me of the fish and chip shop I used to go to every Friday. On the album, what we've got is some sleek and minimal designs, and you've got a hint of me, so around the side of it, you've obviously got a splash of color, but also you've got this wooden plinth, and it's just, it would fit in any modern home. For me, it's really, really important, the soft furnishings and the kind of um, adding those little details, because some people might not like my boldness. It might be a bit too much for them, but they can have a cushion that has a hint of me. So you have the detail with the button, because I love putting a button on something. The design process was coming up with something that was um, related to my youth. In Stanford Hill, I went to my first ever youth club. So you had to fill in an application form and I got one of my friends to do it because I'm not that brilliant at writing. And um, we had to then post it through the letterbox. So on the Stanford, you've got this letterbox design. And also it's in a lovely recyclable tweed. And I would love to have the fabric on the outside, but then you'll spoil that design. So we've done it on the inside. So for me, the Stanford has really, really vivid memories of posting my application form to be a member of the youth club. And I was number five, I was. Um, which I was over the moon with. 
In the collection, we've also got some add-on chairs. It's not like emergency chairs at Christmas time. It's a real comfortable chair that basically you've got the Peabody, the Bethnal, and also the Broadway. For me, all of them are linked to my past in some way, shape or form, and then also linked to my future. So the future with G-Plan, but uh, the Broadway is the one that is the chair for me. That's the, that's the daddy of all armchairs. I've done the 6250 chair. So doing the Broadway, it was exactly the same design that I'm gonna to bring to it. So it's the size and it's celebrating how big and comfortable this chair is. And it is, wow. When you sit in that chair, well, when I sat in the chair, I must have been 12 years old, I just felt like I was the king. I felt like I was the governor and I could achieve anything. So hopefully anybody that sits in the Broadway now, yeah, they should be feeling exactly the same. The Peabody for me is, is, is a classic design um, and it arcs back to that retroness because it reminds me of the old 1950s kind of armchair that you sit in and you, you kind of like spin around and you feel like you're on a spaceship. That's what it feels like to me. I think fabric choice and, and, and the patterns that you put with that are really, really important. Um, they can be quite striking, they can be quite bold, or they can be toned down. The beauty with working someone who has the history, such as G-Plan, you've got some designers that know about fabric, so going and working with them, it was really, really easy. The Bethnal for me is a chair that reminds me of my start of my TV career, and the TV career was kind of like, this is the way you've got to do it. So it's compact, you've got scripts, you've got like a um, kind of auto cue cards and all that kind of stuff. But I wanted to add a bit of fun into the TV world, which is don't give me the auto cue card. Don't tell me the questions. I'm going to give you the Bethnal. And the Bethnal is just like, this is the way we do it. We're from Bethnal Green, East End. G Plan has all of these craftspeople just able to come up with designs. And if you have a new design, no one knows how to do it. But basically, they've got these people that can figure out, test, so on and so forth. So us two coming together was just like, wow, because I love to push the boundaries. Working with the design team, working with the people that make the frames, working with the people who've got to upholster it, it's a real team collaboration. And all I've done is just brought a little old me. I am super excited because it's an iconic brand that I grew up with. It's a brand that I've worked with, and then we've added in recycling, we've added in my splash of colour, it's like, what's not to love?